Ladies and gentlemen, we got the tail. The Chickenosaurus project is now ready to enter the final stage. Congratulations to Mr. Horner and everybody involved in the project. In case you're new to the Dino Chicken or Chickenosaurus project, whichever you prefer, the project is basically reverse evolution on a chicken, taking it a few millennia back to express some of the more physical traits of non-avian dinosaurs. It contained three parts, the snout, the hands or claws, and of course this tail that we just discovered. The snout you can see here, a little bit more broad, it's the one in the middle, than the regular chicken on the left and like an alligator here on the right. And this bird, the Huatzin, actually has claws on its wings as a juvenile. That's where they got the claws from. This most recent discovery was the tail. It actually morphs out of the pigastyle. This is in Spanish, but you can, you get the drift. The pigastyle, the short explanation is that the bones were fusing together early in the embryo development. So what they did was they used a cartagosteroid and it reduced the inflammation so that the bones didn't fuse together and they were basically turned into a tail. Mr. Horner's actually agreed to answer some questions about the project for me, so I'm going to shoot those to him. Expect another video, hopefully soonish. You can leave some of your questions in the comments or the replies, wherever you're watching this, and maybe I can follow up with him and ask him some of those questions too. Until then, guys, get ready, because we're all getting pet dinosaurs.